recently I got a bunch of alcohol inks from Overstock and these are Ranger Adirondack inks. And as a comic artist and illustrator, I didn't really use them in the past, but um, they are a little bit cheaper than Copic Various inks. And they have um, some colors that aren't necessarily available in Copic Various inks. So I thought I'd give them a try and expand my alcohol ink collection. So I have one, two, three, four, I actually have six packs because I have three over here that I purchased at Michael's to see if I liked them before I went and ordered a bunch. And the packs themselves don't have like a color theme name, it doesn't seem. They do all say, Tim Holtz alcohol inks are permanent, fast drying, transparent, acid free dye ink formulated to create a vibrant polished stone look. Used on alcohol ink cardstock, gloss paper, foil cardstock, metal foil tape sheets, shrink plastic, and other non-porous surfaces. They can also be used on just paper. I like using them on, uh, I like using alcohol ink products like markers on watercolor paper, on cardstock, on vellum bristol. So it doesn't have to be on the surfaces listed. Um, it really depends on what you're looking for. And if you're an artist, then a lot of what I say will be pertaining to you. Crafters can also use them for like coloring, um, like the little, little plastic doodads and gigas that get attached to to cards and scrapbook pages like pearls or buttons or you know what have you they're actually uh pretty useful so you can lighten blend and remove colors with tim holtz alcohol blending solution you can also just use rubbing alcohol you can use um like copic or blick uh colorless blenders uh, intermix colors with each other and blending solution for an unlimited palette. Combine with metallic mixatives for luminous metallic highlights. Apply to surfaces with the alcohol ink applicator tool and felt for mess-free inking. For projects, videos, projects, tips, and techniques, vi visit rangerink.com. Um, there are a lot of tutorials, a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to make your own, um, like, the applicators and stuff. I don't have any of that. I don't need it. Um personally. And I've tried making alcohol inks at home and I really wasn't satisfied with the results. And you can check those videos out too. They will, if they're not up, they will be up. So we're starting with, uh, the earth tones, um, bottle terracotta and denim. And how I want to do this is I'm just gonna, I'm trying to swatch them to determine, Oh, this bottle does not want to open. I might have to use a rubber band. So if you are like me and you have trouble getting small bottles and things open, this rubber band might not work. But um, if you twist a rubber band around the lid a few times, it'll give you um, a better grip, a different grip than what's currently there. Oh, come on. Are we not righty, lighty, righty, tidy, lefty, Lucy? Oh, I'm gonna have to get an adult. Okay, all right. So uh, out of the package, I can't even open these bottles. At least that one, let's... This one opened just fine. This one is probably dried shut, which is no bueno. All right, so this is denim. And this is white Nina cardstock, which I think many of you, if you're watching this because you're a crafter, ooh, my cap almost went over the desk. Many of you, um, are familiar with this. I could use marker paper, but I'm being cheap because I'm just trying to determine colors right now. Terracotta is nice. Let's try bottle. It's embarrassing y'all having to watch me struggle with this. Oh, come on. All right, uh, you know what? I'm gonna set bottle aside and move on. So this is pitch black. This is stonewashed. This is rust. These are also earth tones. Oh, we've uh, ha, all right. I got I got rust open at least. It was being tricky too. It's a little browner than terracotta. So I'm basically putting like a concentrated dot, and then I'm trying to like you know smear it out to see what the color really looks like. Oh, this one just wants to like go all over the place. This is stonewashed. It's probably a lighter shade of denim. It's definitely more blue, almost a sky blue. 
Oh, there we go. Come on. That's pitch black. And I'm hoping it's a brown black, not like a, an actual pitch black. All right. Ooh, these have warnings on them. Oh, because these are from the new, these are from this year's new colors. Uh, 2015 or last year's new, new colors. Um, Ranger and Tim Holtz and the Distress line, they released uh, a bunch of new colors. So these are, these are not the Adirondack. These are meant to match with the um, like distress markers and the distress felt pads. That's, that's cool. Whoa, just like gloops out. Apologize for shadows. So it's Lagoon, Mermaid, and Teakwood. And Mermaid is like ultramarine, basically. All right, got another pack. These are also Adirondack. And then my last pack is like a combination of the two. So these are Earth Tones again. Did I only buy Earth Tones? It's because I have a lot of pastels and light colors in my various things already. So that's Lettuce. If I like these colors, I'll add them to spritzer bottles. Cranberry. And Eggplant. I feel like I always need good purples. Ooh. That's like a blue, a BV, blue violet. All right, one more pack. And we have two alcohol inks. We have Stream and Wild Plum, and then we have one Adirondack Earth Tone in Butterscotch. And I am not worried about pooling because these evaporate pretty quickly. There is a little color chromatography with um, lettuce. There's like a ring of orange and then the more concentrated color is green, which is interesting. And let me try getting that green I had trouble with open. Good old bottle here. Uh. Haha, I got it! Boop, 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 boop. Probably been sitting around somewhere. Okay, so that, including the three I bought from Michaels, which are actually brights, I want to say. Oh. Oh yeah, one's an alcohol ink, two's an, two are alcohol inks, and one's an Adirondack. Uh, watermelon, citrus, and sailboat blue. I have, let's see, five packs, 15, 18, 18 of these colors now in my possession, now in my collection. Um, and these come in three packs, and the three pack costs about as much as a single bottle of various ink, if you can find it. Uh, various ink can be very expensive on Amazon. So if you are looking to extend just your alcohol inks, not necessarily the markers themselves, if you're looking to extend your collection, um, these are an option. Jacquard also makes some alcohol inks that I will test at some point, but I haven't tested them yet. I just need to get around to it. So I'm probably gonna be putting probably all of them. Maybe, maybe not. Um, stone washed in spritzer bottles because they're all interesting colors pitch black is more of a very 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 dark brown i might even buy an empty copic wide and put it in there because i like the color and i don't necessarily think i have a color like that um i also really like lettuce even though it's got like that ring of orange on the outside it's still an interesting color um but yeah, if you're an artist and um, maybe you don't have access to interesting Copic colors or you don't want to order stuff online, you should check out the scrapbooking section of your Michaels or check out Overstock, which is where I got mine, and uh, pick up some of the Tim Holtz alcohol inks and give them a shot. This post was entirely sponsored by um, my Bitcoins uh, and uh, not sponsored by Overstock or uh, Amazon or Tim Holtz or any other person. Um, so if you enjoy content like this, if you find this kind of stuff helpful or useful or interesting or gives you ideas, it's inspiring, then please consider backing my Patreon for even more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.